NFL fans and welcome to tonight's game between the UCLA Bruins and the North Carolina Tar Heels. We've got two excellent shooting guards set to go head to head tonight. On the other side we have a young man that's known for his ability to shoot the basketball, Brad. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now on the run. Goes up with it. Nails the jumper. The point guard gets the ball. A little frustration right there. Hey, Brad, he finishes this one. Defense! 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 With tons of room. Number 54 from downtown. Tries the jumper. Nope. Cross court. He gets another shot off and in. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He attempts a jump hook. That's a great shot. On the outside. And now the fadeaway jumper. I tell you, he's got every move in a book. Let's it fly. Knocks it down. Let's take a look right here. Cross court. Turns it over. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Cross court. From the baseline. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Want that one back. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. The land. He's got an open look for the shot. He takes the shot from the baseline. They got it. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. I tell you, there's no doubt their PT beers, their prime time performers. Up and inside. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the first. Cross court. He attempts the jump shot, gets the J to fall, can't get it to go. Buries it home. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up, to get in triple threat position, to drive, shoot, and the perimeter, and work inside, and then out before attempting any shots. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. That shot was definitely ill-advised. There's a high screen. With a jumper. Number 52 is feeling good. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because... They... He up fakes. Goes up for two. The land. That three. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. Number 52 with the ball. Excellent jump shot right there. For the bucket. Way off target. For three. North Carolina waited for the three-point shot to come open. And... There was no doubt about that one. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He gets it to go. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Fake. For the deuce, the Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He shoots from downtown. That's good. Two-point game. For two, the lane. Combination of the two styles. Some teams will play up tempo on offense and be half-court oriented at the defensive end. Other balanced teams may play in the half-court offensively and really look to pressure their opponents in the full court. Better foul quick. 
Well, let's take a look at the tempo each team is going to try to set for this game, Richard. Well, whenever you have two teams looking to control the speed of the game, you need to keep your eye on how each team makes changes. Setting the tempo can be an advantage, but adapting can be just as important. 